Yo, what is good guys back here with another YouTube video and in case you cannot tell by the title below this video will be a video where I share my thoughts and opinions on someone or something going on in this wacky weird world of professional wrestling. As you can tell by the title below this video will be a video where I share my initial thoughts, reactions to a pay-per-view coming to Canada but not in Toronto and I am strangely happy about it um, and whatnot. For those who don't know, Elimination Chamber is on February 18th, a Saturday, thank goodness, a couple of weeks after my birthday uh, and whatnot but uh, it's going to be held in Montreal, Quebec roughly, depending on traffic, six, six and a half hour uh, drive away from where I live so not super far but not super close at the same time uh kind of deal and whatnot and Smackdown the night before will be in Montreal and honestly I am uh super excited thanks to Jimmy on uh Twitter uh for letting me know uh, about it and like I said six six and a half hour drive at the Bell Center one of the top things on my wrestling bucket list is to attend a wrestling event uh, there and it's a pay-per-view with TV the night before and whatnot so I'm seriously considering going for that and like I said it's only a couple of weeks after my birthday uh, kind of deal so depending on tickets and whatnot I'm really tempted to go because I don't want to pay uh, more than really face value uh, for the tickets uh, and whatnot. Similar to AEW's uh, Dynamite, did not want to pay uh, like few times over uh, face value just to say that I'm going uh, kind of deal and whatnot. So hopefully I'll be able to get uh, tickets uh, and whatnot and for it hopefully uh, this is not the last time in like 13 and a half years that they would be uh, going to Montreal for a pay-per-view because last time they did that was a uh, pay-per-view in Montreal was September 2009. Long, long time ago. I was 15 in February. I'll turn 29 kind of deal and whatnot. But yeah, those are kind of my initial thoughts. Uh, confirmed by Sean Ross Sapp, a uh, pretty, uh, pretty uh, reliable guy when it comes to that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, those are kind of my initial thoughts and reactions. Let me know your thoughts and if you plan on going down in the comments below. While you are down there, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notification, uh, uh, all of that fun, fun stuff. And yeah. Uh, see you guys in uh, tomorrow's uh, video. The world that we tend to make up is nothing but a fantasy until you wake up. I feel like I'm just lying to myself. Lying to myself, yeah. Cause I just crossed the line like I'm playing offside. I do it how I want and I'ma do it till I die. I feel like I'm just lying to myself. But it's